Welcome back once more to the Legend of Heroes Trails from Zero. Um, last time we explored inside Crossbar City, so today we explore outside. And thanks to Noel, we have a car to get around faster. But first, the cathedral. Good day to you all. Welcome to the Crossbar of the Cathedral. Sunday school is in session right now, so please try not to disturb the lesson. The children from East Street are here at the cathedral today. Honestly, children these days are very on top of things. For example, Kota always knows exactly what's on sale in all of the city stores. It's amazing. Since he told me about all the latest deals, I'll probably do go do some shopping later. Children these days are very on top of things. If I don't watch myself one day, I find they are even more responsible than me. I'm doing a quick pass to clean all the graves here. We've had many of them. There are quite a few but never get any visitors. It's a real shame if you ask me. With this many graves, there are quite a few of them that don't get tended by the families we belong to. I'm sure everyone has their reasons, but every once in a while, I'd like to see people visit the souls who sleep here in this quiet, lonely place. Guy Bennings. Every day the gravekeeper checks up on the graves. The gravestones themselves are nothing but markers, but I'm sure those who rest here are glad to have them. Alright. I'm thinking of making septium for mines the next centerpiece of my trading inventory. Though I admit it's a little intimidating to invest in a product I've never handled before. I suppose there's no need to worry, after all, ideas will have my back. Today, Sister Anita is down on, at the downtown district teaching with children. So the children that don't come here for Sunday school, we go to them instead. And she has trouble with Jingo. Hmm, it may just be my imagination, but I could have sworn I heard the toll of a bell coming from the mountains. However, there isn't supposed to be a bell tower between us and mines. A bell? Oh, that is a bit strange. Did someone in town, I forgot who, told us a story that at the place we should investigate for our main story, there's supposed to be a bell there? In the testament of a Septian church mentioned the existence of creatures known as fiends. Fiends oppose the goddess and are said to slip into people's hearts through the slightest vulnerabilities and steer them to what evil deeds. There is no question that all members of the Septian clergy see them as a cause to practice constant vigilance. Half a century ago, a professor named C. Epstein brought about the so-called Orbital Revolution. The Orbital technology met plenty of resistance at first, but fast forward 50 years and were surrounded by Orbments. Convenient innovations such as Orbital cars crop up one after the other these days. My mom always tells me I need to study hard for the sake of my future. Did you have to study a lot too when you were younger? Uh, studying just makes me sleepy. And there's a death step on the teacher. Gotta hold out. You can get your very own Epstein open when you join the Bracer Guild. Man, wouldn't it be sweet if I could cast a bunch of super cool arts one day too? Aren't you from the West Street? Why are you here? If orbital technology continues to develop at the rate it has so far, I wonder if things will become even more convenient. 
Like, what if we be able to do all of our grocery shopping from home? Wait, I don't want that. All my rewards for going on errands will disappear. Network. I don't really get it. Big Sis taught me a little a bit about how opens work, but not this. Opal Network. Ken started taking a lot of notes in class, but he can't beat me. I'm gonna take a million more notes than him. Scribble, 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 scribble. <laughs> Professor Epstein. Scribble. This is so elementary, it just makes me laugh. This material would only pose a challenge to those lacking common sense. Well, don't you know it's extremely rude to talk to people in class? The Epstein Foundation was established with an enormous inheritance Professor C. Epstein left behind after passing away. I wonder what kind of person he really was. Oh Lloyd, I understand Kia didn't want to be hospitalized for some examinations. That's right, sorry. I feel like we went and wasted your advice. Oh no, please don't fret about it. If she wasn't comfortable with it, there's no need to force her. If you have patience, I think she'll agree to the examination sooner or later. You might be right there. Sister Marble, since you're talking, does it mean we can talk in class now? Oh, pardon me, you're right. As a teacher, I shouldn't set such a bad example. Oops, our bad. It looks like we interrupted your lesson. Let's postpone our talk to sometime I'm not teaching class. That way, we can chat freely, okay? My, my, how embarrassing. I suppose when you get to be my age, your mommy isn't just what it once was because she doesn't remember where she was in her lesson. All right. Oh, yeah, um, off screen, um, beca because during the questing sessions, during the quests where we went to the west was the highway and found some new monsters i visited the other roads and found new monsters as well and so we leveled up a level and lloyd got a second s craft and that is that right rising sun um mines mining village Ah, stunning looks, an air of dignity and poise. You really could have been the perfect package. A pity, if only we're a man. Ah, come again? Uh, don't mind me. I thought my knight in shining armor had finally appeared, only for her to be a woman. Well, no point crying over it. You know how the road branches off to in the tunnel on your way to mines? A few people swear they've been hearing some freaky bell uh, down that path recently. That area is pretty desolate, so it's a bit little creepy. Yeah, we heard that in town as well from someone. My, things are certainly slow around here. Why can't we get more customers that can hold more than a few drinks? I tend to take care of all the cleaning here when there aren't any customers around. You know, now that the miners haven't been throwing many parties these days, it's been much less of a chore. Having a party to clean up definitely makes my life a whole lot easier. Yeah, those two are gone. It's been two weeks already. Just hope that he hasn't gotten caught up in anything dangerous. But with that gambling addiction of his, I can't help but expect the worst. Ah, I think we'd better take action sooner rather than later. If he's gotten wrapped up in something dangerous, we're in a race against time. Oh, hello everyone. Thank you all for your help with him before. Please enjoy your stay in minds. I mean, if you have a problem, please tell me. I'd like to help. 
police and all that. You know, I haven't seen guns around mines lately. I was looking forward to asking him about the city. Are you aware that there are some old ruins near the cliffs south uh, of mines? The place has been around ever since I was young. No one knows anything about it except that it's the remains of an ancient temple. Hmm. My husband is hard at work in the mine today. You know, mining isn't just important for us here in mines. It's crucial to the prosperity of Cosmos State as a whole. I can't help but feel proud of Max whenever I'm reminded of that. Isn't that sweet? Daddy was a miner before, so he still worries about everyone. Sometimes he even gives extra food to the miners who don't have much mirror. For whatever reason, the miners have been prone to slacking recently. Back in my days, we'd for go sleep to get a good hold of the mine and... Excuse me, didn't mean to start preaching to strangers. Right, not enough money. The mines have gotten a lot busier again. I hope Hoffman doesn't end up working himself silly. Well, I'm sure he'll be fine as long as he keeps eating his handmade lunches I pour my heart into. You all look run off your feet too. While you're here, how about you learn how to make my specialty lunchbox? Receive the recipe for a sincere lunchbox. I'm gonna be pretty busy till noon, so I'll have to remember to bring him his lunch later. Where the heck did he go? There's no time to be lazy because of cruise down a man. I can't wait for lunch. My wife always packs a whole ton of goodies for me to feast on. Ah, I love it, woman. All right, last trip of the day. Let's get to it. Already been two weeks, huh? Ah, Gans is usually such a well-behaved guy. What's been his deal lately? Doesn't appear to be anything new in there. Alright, so we know a miner is missing. Right, um... Bellguard Gate. Annie, what brings you here today? Hey man, we're taking over that investigation of yours for you. You know the one about the ruins? Are you pulling my leg? Nope, from what I've heard, his excellency pushed everything onto Tangum Gate's plate. Sorry pal, we're gonna have to steal the spotlight from here. You can pass it along to the commander for me. Nope, you can tell him yourself. So if you guys are cooperating with Tangum Gate's troops, I can't help but feel reassured about this mess. I'd appreciate it if you finished the job we left half done, Randy. I was actually on the scouting team that was looking into the mine's ruins. The interior of that place was crawling with ghosts, demons, you name it. I've never seen anything like it before. It was like in a waking nightmare. <laughs> Are you alright, Ali? You look incredibly pale. Uh, uh, perfectly fine. Never been better. Those ruins were full of monsters none of us had ever seen before. I legitimately think we were lucky that we withdraw before anything bad happened. I was one of the members of a scouting team we sent to those rooms. Say what you want, but there was something wrong with that place. Even though I wanted to, I doubt we would have been able to properly scout it. So there really is something going on in the rooms. I genuinely can't describe how evil that place was. There's something different about it, but hey, you can go look for yourself. Uh, 
Oh, where exactly do I get my passport checked? I think it's this guy? According to the others, the investigation of those ruins was suddenly put on ice. It's the commander's responsibility to know when to withdraw from operations. Yet I can't help but feel like this is just a laziness. Probably the same guy. Stella has had more free time since the anniversary festival has ended. Ah, she's so wonderful. Staring at her day in day out isn't going to get me anywhere. <laughs> so we have to share the cafeteria here with the guardsmen force members. It wouldn't be my first choice, but I'm hungry, so I suppose I put up with it. Hello everyone, would you like something to eat? You can never rule out the possibility of an emergency dispatch while stationed here, so it's important to eat while you can. Military enthusiasts like myself are often misunderstood. We don't enjoy war by any stretch of the imagination. Simply put, we just appreciate the practical beauty of military equipment and arms. Don't go lumping us together with those sociopaths that adore senseless killing. A military enthusiast is not someone who enjoys or loves war. Make sure not to mix this up with warmongers, okay? Please, don't do that. I recently got my hands on a poster of Archon Steel's new dancer, Richard Mao, for my buddy over at Tangon Gate. I pinned it right over there if you want to give her a look. Quite something, ain't she? There she hangs. You know about the orbital shutdown phenomenon that happened over in Libel, right? When that happened, Chancellor Osborne quickly dispatched new Imperial steam engine tanks to the border. It's as if he knew what was going to happen and was already prepared for it. What a frightening man. Hey, spoiler! It's your Sergeant Major Noah's Seeker, right? I've heard stories about you. Tamgun Gate's bright and upcoming guardsman, right? Oh uh, no, I wouldn't go that far. I still have much to learn and improve on. I know working directly under the commander may be discouraging at times, but please keep doing the CGF proud, warned Officer Murray. Aha, <laughs> Mireille's unrelenting sense of justice the only thing she had over the other guys, I'd say. Wait, wait, only thing? What do you mean, only thing? Come on, Wendy, try not to tease her so much. Fine, fine. Ah, you're exhausting. Like I was saying, as a superior officer, it's always reassuring to see a guardsman like Sergeant Major Seeker make a name for herself. So let's both continue to work toward making the Cosper Guardian Force the best it can possibly be. Yes, ma'am. I wanted our unit to conduct the investigation of those runes, but we can't do anything about it since the order came from the commander. Such a seeker, the special support section. I've, I'm leaving the investigation in your hands. Regardless, don't even sweat it. Commander is never here. Why make a sprite or something? All right, then let's go to St. Ursula. Welcome to St. Ursula Hospital. You didn't bring that adorable little girl with you today. Nope, we didn't. The staff here tries to build relationships with our patients, so he can't blame us for being worried. I need to make sure I refresh and recharge while I have a chance. Dr. Gailey is constantly sulking on that bench over there. I guess even big time doctors like him have a share of worry. I've been dead tired lately. 
First, when I asked Tyrone to order new equipment, we were delivered something entirely different. And on top of that, my son Keen still has no intention of sleeping with that foolish gang he's in. I may be a doctor and all, but life just won't give me a break. Keeping up with family and work leaves me with no time to rest. I may be a doctor and all, but life gives me no breaks. <coughs> my stomach's tearing itself apart. Is it my turn yet? I knew I ate way too much for a midnight snack, but uh, my stomach hurts like hell. I have nothing but admiration for all the residents working here. They are all absolute studying fiends. All the dedication they take in makes me want to cheer them on. Go interns, go! I try to bust out some Eastern martial arts moves of the workout. But I got too into it and took quite a tumble. <laughs> I suppose I overdid it at that. Dr. Günther runs all sorts of research projects in the neurology and de pharmacology departments. He even synthesizes our nutritional supplements and surgical anesthesias there as well. Oh my. Are you alright, sweetie? You look like you have quite a fever. Could you stick this thermometer under your armpit and sit tight for a second? Ah, my head is burning. <coughs> as soon as I stopped coming to my appointments, I completely relaxed. Just my luck. Keeping up with your health is a whole lot harder than it looks. Much to my surprise, your army has been avidly conducting research in his lab as of late. Sure, he skips quite a few shifts, but he never disappoints when push comes to shafts. Okay. Recently, I had to take another practical training exam. This time, I did my best to maintain a smile for the patients, and my evaluation was bumped from a B- to a B+. It's a small step, but it at least takes me further down the path to becoming a full-fledged physician. I've given to learn nothing but grief and by sleeping in all the time, so I've been making an effort to wake up earlier the past week. I usually wake up around um, probably the 12th alarm that goes off. Honestly, I'm surprised I even managed that much after an all night. Uh, I guess they don't knock me completely comatose. <laughs> huh? uh, if you thought I was sleeping there, you're wrong, I was just concentrating a lot. Come on, everyone, time for research! Jeez, I admire how dedicated Chief Ursuline is in, to her work, but I wish she wouldn't drive herself into her ground over it. Does she really think pulling all that and waking up early is going to work out well? Probably not. The hospital receives funds from many institutions from all over Zamuria, but our management policies are relatively conservative. Those funds exist to support the patients who cannot pay their medical bills, so we do our best to allocate them to those who need it most. Welcome to St. Ursula Hospital. How can we be of service today? Wow. Now, when was the last time I stopped by St. Ursula? I don't think I've been here outside of patrol since the wolf attack. You make it sound like you never get sick, Sergeant Major. It's definitely rare. After joining the CGF, I tried to stay in peak condition. I got some responsibilities, you know. I don't want a little sickness to get him away. <laughs> and now that's the spirit. Keeping yourself healthy and out of the hospital is the best you can ask for. That being said, if you do start to feel another weather, don't hesitate to call us. There's only so much you can do on your own. Personally, I think caring for yourselves and being hygienic is the best way to keep hospitals out of your life. And this young lady is already right on top of it. Uh, hospitals drive me up a wall. I can never get a moment's rest in them. Just help me out of here already. Pretty sure you can leave. You are not imprisoned here. Yeah? Recently I've been lucky to have Dr. Lago as my attending physician. 
It really is a privilege to be treated by such a prestigious doctor as him. We had admitted Mr. Gable, one of our diet members, into a private room on the third floor, but recently we had a bit of an incident. We got tipsy and barged into the nurse's station and money we keep him company, crossing several boundaries in one brush step. Martha came across the whole scene a few moments later and dragged him back to his room. I swear he must think that we nurses are no different from hostesses wandering the entertainment district. Occasionally we have to deal with some less unpleasant individuals like Mr. Gable. They always stay longer than necessary because they think the hospital is cozy or they just like to sexually harass the nurses. Honestly, I can hardly stand to be civil with them at times. It soothes my heart to see Shizuku so cheerful as of late. When I asked her what happened, she got a big smile on her face and told me she made a friend. I'm so happy for her. They say friends are life's greatest treasure, you know? She's still on Cloud9 for making a new little friend, and all of the nursing staff is right up with her. Yeah, I thought things had been going smoothly as of late, and I, but I should have known it wasn't meant to be last. The so put the blood bags that were delivered from my ferry in the communal freezer. We put our lunch in there. There was searching for my cup of yogurt, only to find those bags chilling right next to it. I swear my heart skipped a few beats. Don't fool yourself, Saron's mistakes are not cute, nor is she just a simple airhead, oh no. Oh, she is much, much, much worse than that. Storing blood bags meant for transfusion in the communal freezer? I swear, at this point it's sabotage, bona fide sabotage. After living, my, but after living by myself, it's refreshing to stay in a bustling place like St. Ursula. Everyone I met has been friendly, so I've been doing my best to get along with them. After being hospitalized, I put my son in the hands of my mother-in-law, Adios Blesser. In my experience, most wives and their mother-in-laws clash with each other big time, but fortunately, we've been able to avoid that. As soon as my stomach started acting, I was told that I had something called appendicitis, and driven here before I even had time to blink. I mean, how bad can it be? I just want to go home. No idea what about this. Early, I got a letter from my parents all the way in Le Mans. It even came with a present, too. They got me the toy I've been telling them about, which made me really happy. It's like the world's turned upside down. Well, it was set one foot inside of a nurse's station and they had the nerve to kick me out. Still, I can hardly choke on a single word of protest in the face of that nurse administrator. That nurse administrator is one formidable woman. Me, a powerful member of a crossbow diet, having to submit to the authorities of a mere hospital? Yes. When you're here, yes. Oh, Lloyd, it's nice to see you. Oh, good morning. Hello, you two. I really wanted to thank you for what you did the other day, Shizuku. You becoming friends with Kia really made her happy. It was nothing. I think I should be one thanking you, actually. Um, how is she? Oh, she's great. Girl's so active, we have trouble keeping up with her. She never gets tired of running around, that's for sure. Yes, but we still, but we are still now closer to recovering her memories. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, could you pass along a message, Shakia? I would love to come to play with you sometime soon. Will do, Shizuku. Believe me, we're w you're welcome at the SSS building anytime. <laughs> Won't that be fun, Shizuku? Oh, that reminds me of something. If you're not too busy, might we ask you a little favor? Huh? Cecile, you don't mean... What's up? Please don't worry about it, Cecile. It's just a silly idea. Oh, here the one being silly. There's no need to be so shy. You see, it's almost Shizuku's father's birthday, so of course she wants to give him a special present. It's almost Arius's birthday. So he is human, eh? Obviously, Randy. 
I think I get it. You want our help to figure out what present to get, right? No, not quite. You see, I was thinking of making father something handmade this year, so I was wanting to search for some things I could use for it. Ah, gotcha. So you want to collect a bunch of trinkets around here to craft a special charm for your dad? That's been a cross spell and tradition for a long time. Oh, really? Never heard of that one. I remember making cute things like that for grandfather when I was little. So we to search for medical college for suitable materials for your gift? Does that summarize the request? If you could, yes. I know if there's anyone capable of finding the perfect items for Shizuku, it's you guys. When you do, would you mind bringing them up to us? Sure thing. We couldn't refuse a request from the adorable Shizuku. I'm n I never meant to impose, but thank you. The next question would be, what do you want to make? If you know that, we should be able to put together a list of what to look for. Any ideas? Well, let's see. I actually found this really amazing stone the last time we went on a walk with Cecile. It's all smooth and feels nice to the touch. When I showed it to Cecile, she said I should keep it since it's so very pretty, but maybe we could incorporate it into Father's gift somehow? I think that's a wonderful idea. It really is quite a mysterious little work. When I held it, it gave off this gentle warmth that spread through me like a comforting hug. Oh, that's pretty neat. Now, if we're using this stone, we should consider what kind of present would be most suitable for Arios. And since it's a present, of course, we need something to wrap it up in. So, let's put a box and a ribbon down on our list as well. Good call, Ellie. Again, I'm sorry that you have to go through all the trouble for me. It's fine, Shizuku. Thanks to you, we have a good idea of what we're looking for. That makes us way easier for us. Well, guys, ready to start our search? Shizuko really wants to give her father a present for his birthday. If you're able to give us some materials as on said Ursula, would you mind bringing them to us? With you guys on the job, I have no doubt that Shizuko will get what she needs to craft a perfect present. Thanks in advance. Hmm. About Kia's condition. I've looked into everything I could find, but I have bad news. Nothing is a perfect fit for her particular symptoms. There's also a possibility that she's developed a new, never-before-seen form of amnesia. I see. On the bright side, it doesn't look like there are any serious abnormalities with her. I say just wait and monitor the situation. Besides, I'm no sadist. I don't want to force her to stay here at the hospital when it clearly puts her under so much distress. If I had to weigh in, in fact, I'd say I'm more of a masochist. Ah. What are you talking about? Man, you don't make a lick of sense. Well, that aside, you don't have anything to worry about in the immediate future. Just try to keep an eye on her, alright? Oh, and while you're at it, get a lot of this. When I went fishing this morning, I hooked a real monster. You should have seen the look on Sudden's face. He really does live in his own world. You're Ah, my fair got mad at me again. She should see one of her doctors about the temper of hers. So you know, I bet she's so angry because she never gets to eat lunch on time. I'd get pretty cranky too. I tried recreating this hamburger I saw at the festival food store and guess what? I nailed it in one go. I should teach me for how to make it. Oh, if you want it, I can teach you too. Colorful tomato burger. That's three recipes today. Chief Ursuline actually headed out to the research lab on time today. Much to my shock and surprise. She doesn't tend to get home until the morning, and it throws off her whole day. Maybe she finally got some proper rest last night? Nope. I have a night shift, so I'm planning to take an early nap. If you're not saying that, get out of my room.
But Lady Bracer is always helping out the hospital with this or that. Maybe I can repay some of the debt we owe her by cooking up a feast. I knew it. Searches really are fascinating. There's still so many undiscovered techniques, which makes the field that much more exciting. What did you say? You're collecting stuff so Shizuku can make a gift. And I'd be more than happy to help you guys out. But unfortunately, I don't think I have anything on me that would be useful. Oh, Shizuku wants to make a present? Let's see, I might have just a thing. Here, this wood dress work? Aeolia took out a Cephal crystal. How about this? Some Imperial merchant gave me this as a reward a while back. This would definitely make Shizuku's day, don't you think? Make sure she gets it. That's way too nice. Besides, Shizuku would probably get in trouble if she used something this expensive. Also, I would like also this would likely go against her request of collecting simple materials. Oh you think so? But I don't really have anything else on me. I just wanted to be able to help sweet sweet Shizuku. I got it. If a sapphire crystal is no good, what about this goldier one? We already established that you can't take anything like that, Aeolia. Welcome to St. Ursula. Uh -huh. I've been dead tired lately. First, when I asked the room to order new equipment, we were delivered something entirely different. On top of that, my son Keenstone has no intention of leaving with foolish gangies in. I may be a doctor and all, but life just won't give me a break. He's a doctor here. The poor guy looks utterly worn out. Still, he might have some idea about what materials would be good for Shizuku's present. Excuse us, there was something we wanted to ask you about. Huh? What is it? Right now, we're still trying to figure out what to look for. Ah, for, it's for little Shizuku. That's the case, there might be something over there. Where exactly? Allow me to explain. In this hospital, a large quantity of goods are stored away and forgotten about. I'd go so far as to say that we're in mint condition. What kind of goods and why are we here at St. Ursula? A while ago, I asked one of our nurses, Siron, to order some surgical supplies, like scalpels and things of that nature. But it said what was delivered was an assortment of random goods. How did this happen, you may ask? That's what I would like to know. That's unlucky, man. In a way, it reminds me of all the headaches the commander causes for the rest of the Guardian Force. Would you mind if we take a look at them? I don't mind, frankly, it's been a pain trying to get someone to take them off our hands. You can find the container on the terrace right outside the men's dormitory on the second floor of the inn. If you see something that catches your eye, by all means, take it with you. That would be great. Thank for your help. That should be where they put the fence up after the monster attack. I think this is a container the doctor mentioned. Alright, let's check it out. Do you see anything that will work for us in there? Yeah, at least I think so. Is that a knitted leather string? It looks well made too. Is there anything else? Well, I gave it another look and... It's full of creepy dolls and figurines. I guess these are to ward off evil spirits or something along those lines. I think the snippet string is the best we're going to find in them. I can see where the doctor was having trouble getting rid of it now. Yes, we should consider ourselves lucky finding at least one good thing in there. If the string is sturdy as this one, I doubt it'd end up snapping, even if Avios was the one wearing it. All that's left is to find a pendant that can fit Shizuku's stone. Did you find anything worthwhile among the things on the terrace? A knitted leather string. Are you positive that's all you need? 
could have taken everything. Can you really blame us for not wanting to take those bulky dolls with us? shouldn't have pulled that all night a research binge. I've been dead set on developing something portable and more convenient, but that fell up in smoke. It sounds like she specializes in medical equipment. Who knows, she might have something that would be a good addition to Suzuku's present. Excuse me, man, do you have a minute? Yes, what is it? Lloyd explained that they were collecting materials for a present Shizuku wanted to make. So we're wondering if you might have anything to spare. Ah, oh, that's so sweet of her, you got it. And now let's see, this might do a trick. A pendant. Is this a pendant? That it is, it's the kind you can place a gem inside to of it too. My research last night into portable pendant-like medical tools was a spectacular failure, and this is a byproduct of that. Portable medical equipment? I was not aware that such a thing even existed. Ah, that's because it doesn't, yet. It's still highly experimental, so I think it'll be a while before we can get it up and running. The idea is that you sh use quartz with independent to generate healing properties which in turn promote self-recovery. Fascinating stuff in theory. Oh damn, that Ursula's research is no joke. I'm sure the CGF would find something like that very handy, especially in combat scenarios. But you said it was a failure, correct? What exactly went wrong? Yes, well, I was putting together a prototype last night, but I must have made a mistake somewhere. The second I activated it, it just... Boom! Exploded! That sounds rather dangerous. Funny thing is, that pendant was at the center of a blast and stayed with it in one piece. That's a miracle if you ask me. Something as lucky as that is perfect for a present, don't you think? I'm not sure someone in the medical field should be associating luck with explosions. Well, thank you very much. I'm sure Suzuku will appreciate it. Good. I'm glad I could help. That pen actually took the brunt of an explosion from a failed experiment. But surprisingly enough, it came out scratch-free. I bet something as lucky as that will be perfect for a present. <laughs> I mean, if you want to call it that... Do I return it to the store or not? I've got to come to some kind of decision about it. Uh, excuse me, something matter? Oh no, it's not a big deal, it's just that I bought this ribbon the other day when I was in the city for the festival. I mean, I thought it was really cute. I'd say it was more of an impulse buy if anything. But after giving it a lot of thought, I realized that it's a little too cute for my personality. A ribbon, huh? That might be just the thing we need for wrapping the present. Say, would you mind doing us a favor? A favor? What do you mean? Lloyd explained that they are collecting materials for a present Shizuku wanted to make. So we were wondering if you might let us give that ribbon to Shizuku. Wow, so that's what she's been up to? Yep, our intentions are completely pure. What other intentions could we have had? You have somehow managed to sound more suspicious than if you had not clarified that at all. <laughs> well, if it's for Shizuku, how could I say no? Put it to good use, okay? Thank you, Mefa. I know it cost you mirror, so I really hope we didn't bully it off you. Oh no, don't worry about it. I'd honestly considered throwing it away, so it's in much better hands with you guys. Good luck with finding whatever else you need. Thanks. I'm sure Shizuku will be ecstatic. Still, I'm glad I didn't end up throwing it away. It's pretty long, so I'm sure it will be perfect for gift wrapping. Well, good luck with finding whatever else you need. I 
I doubt the patients have something, but trying and all that. Earlier I got a letter from my parents all the way in Le Mans. It even came with a present too. They got me the toy they've been telling me about, which made me really happy. Good for you, Mikkel. Michael. If it was a gift, then perhaps... Um, hey, do you still happen to have a box your toy came in? The box? Uh, Mrs. Seal followed it up for me earlier. She said since I don't get presents often, I shouldn't throw it away. Dang, women are way more thoughtful than men. I'd have thrown that sucker in the trash right after I opened it. Thoughtful? I think it simply comes down to you being thoughtless, Randy. Um, did you need it for something? Well, actually... Explained that Shizuku wants to make a present. So we're busy trying to find a gift box and things like that for her, but... Wait, it's for Shizuku? Why did you say that from the start? Here! Yeah. Wow, isn't that lovely? A wonderful box for a wonderful gift. Are you really okay with giving it away? You wouldn't want to force it to part with an important keepsake of yours. I'm definitely okay with it. I still have a toy it came with, and I was going to throw it away until Mrs. Seal told me not to anyway. More importantly, I want to give something to Shizuku too. In that case, we'd be happy to pass it along to her for you. Thanks, Michael. <laughs> Aren't you a ladies' man? Keep up, kid. There's nowhere to go but up. <laughs> Thanks. We should have everything now. I bet the gift box and ribbon will go great with the rest of the presents too. I think it's about time we show Shizuku what we found. After hearing about Shizuku's present, I couldn't help but want to give her something. Sure, it was just a dumb box, but I'm glad she could use it. Oh lord, are you back? Does that mean... That's right, I think we found enough stuff to put together a really nice gift. Pendant? Lever string. Oh, is this a pendant? Yeah, we also found a box and the ribbon, along with these other things that should be everything you need. I'm honestly a little shocked. I believed in you, but you really went above and beyond. Finding all this in St. Ursula couldn't have been easy. What do you think, Shizuku? Can you make your father's present with what I bought? Y yes, I can. This should be more than enough. The pendant feels really sturdy, so I doubt it will break. Also, the string material seems comfortable enough, but it won't bother father while he wears it at work. Everyone, thank you so very much. Your smile made the whole thing worth it, Shizuku. What kind of man would we be if he turned down a request from a cutie like you? It was high stakes for me and Lord, believe me. It's going to be perfect. It certainly should be, yes. Oh, Shizuku. Uh, since we're all here, should we go ahead and put it together? Yes, that sounds good to me. That is, if everyone else would like to stay for a bit longer and see the final product. Yes, definitely. After all, we might still be able to help you with something. I may not be the best with arts and crafts, but I'd love your help. Hey, I love your crafts. Don't worry about it. No. Let's see. No, all that's left is to attach a string and set the stone with a pendant. It's done. What do you think, everyone? Do you think it turned out okay? It looks extremely well made, Shizuku. Great job. I'm sure your father will be delighted. Oh, thank goodness. I was kind of skeptical at first, but this stone really is something else. You had quite the sense to pick that one out, I gotta say. A little bit of polish and bam, you got yourself a... Such a fine necklace, I bet you even put jewelers to shame. It's uncanny, really. It's as if the stone was meant to sit inside the pendant. The string, too, it doesn't look a step out of place. It's uncomplicated, but I think that in and of itself adds to its elegance. I agree with Wendy. It doesn't look like any less than what you would find in a jewelry store. I couldn't agree more. Cecile, everyone, thank you. I would have never been able to make this amazing gift without you. Um, and I'd like to give you this as a token of my gratitude. Please take it. A brooch. It's beautiful. Wait, is this the same kind of stone you put in the pendant? 
Yes, I found the stone with the seal. When I found the stone with the seal, I actually came across another one, just like it. I've been keeping this one beside my broken brooch. Are you sure you want us to have it? Yes, of course I am. Alone, I don't think I ever would have been able to make my father the gift I wanted to. That's why I told myself that I would give this to whoever helped me. At first, I thought I would give it to Cecile, but after talking things over with her, we thought it would be best for you all to have it. After collecting such amazing pieces, you've certainly earned it. <laughs> with all this flattery, it'd be rude of us to refuse now, would it? I think we should accept it with gratitude, Lloyd. You make a good case. Thank you, Shizuku. I promise we'll take good care of it. Please do. Thank you again. Have a great rest of your day, everyone. A present for father complete. Let us side, what's up? When are you going to tell me, Lloyd? I never would have guessed you were dating a young woman from the CGF. But look at you two lovebirds. You're quite the ladies man, aren't you? Wait, what? Me and... Lloyd? Cut it out, Cecilia. Such major noble seekers here with us because we're working on a job together. That's it. Jeez, are you planning on doing this with every time I come here with a girl? Honestly, I should have seen it coming. It is a very sincere thing to do. I have one thing it's endearing. Oh, boo. So no, it's not your girlfriend either. When will I ever see the double face of my little niece and nephews? You keep letting all these sketches go, Lloyd. Honestly, Cecile, I don't know how much more of this teasing I can, want, I can put up with. After all you did for me, I wish I could give you a better token of appreciation when my leftover worked. This is more than enough, Shizuka. We cherish it, I promise. I'm really happy to hear that. Are you able to put together a nice present? Eoli and I were planning to go visit Shizuku a bit later anyway. Poor Shizuku has been hospitalized here for such a long time. Guess I have no choice but to give her lots of cuddles for Arios' sake. Snap out of it, Aeolia. Alright. Next is a Morica. Alright. Ah, crap, I can't be dozing off. This place is too relaxed for its own good. Huh? Is it one of the CGF's brand spanking new light armored convoys? What a beaut! I have such a sophisticated form with no need for any crude armaments. Shoot, what I wouldn't give to take this baby for a spin. Oh, we really know your stuff. It takes a man of great taste to appreciate a car like this one. I don't see the appeal. <clears throat> then allow me to inform you. The new CGF light armored convoy vehicle may fall short in combat power, but no one can deny its sleek, mesmerizing body. It's just a masterpiece, an absolute masterpiece. Please try not to scratch it while driving. <laughs> she is safe in my hands. My brother Elkin cannot control his accent whenever he gets excited. That accent used to be pretty prevalent in America in the past, but nowadays only old Donald and Elkin are the only ones that really use it. When Elkin was a kid, he'd always be hanging out with Donald. I guess Elkin picked up his speech pattern without noticing. Now, something I'm curious about. When I. I do it later. I was wondering, when I drive a car away, so if I don't arrive in the car, if Elkin says something else. Unfortunately, Master Fisherman Lloyd had to head back to his home in Libel. Without an angler like him around, things went from exciting to dull real quick. Wow. One of the fishermen's guild members is back. What do I do? Is this finding my big chance to join the guild? Yeah, not if you just stand there and do nothing. Just being in the presence of Celia as she's working soups my pounding heart. I was so lonely not being able to see her during the anniversary festival. I have to make up for lost time. 
It's been a month since the festival ended and you still aren't satisfied? Right now, there are two bracers staying in one of the rooms on the second floor. You know, there's actually a surprisingly large number of female bracers. Now that I think about it, as a girl myself, I can't help but cheer them on. When they eat later, maybe I'll sneak them a few coffee. I bought so many different books from Crossbell City's library. Uh, there are too many good ones to choose from, so I accidentally checked out more books than I can handle. They're due back in three days, hopefully I can finish them all. Areta and her son have really come to like Amorica Village, I think. They've been staying on the second floor for a while now, but I'd love it if they decide to actually move here. Stefan has been playing with the village kids quite often recently. Maybe our official move to America isn't as far away as I thought. Oh, hey everyone! Let me guess, you guys are busy working. Right, we're in the middle of finishing up a few small jobs. You're two staying at the end here? Yep, that's right. Though we aren't planning on staying, the truth is we ran into a snack while working on a monster extermination yesterday and we missed our bus. Not left with many options, we decided to just stay at the inn. Did something gave you two trouble? I almost hesitate to believe it. Was it that strong? Well, it was like those monster monsters from before, but with one big difference. For some reason, a bunch of them showed up on the highway out of nowhere. And what's odder than that? They all seemed much stronger than they were last time. It's not just the area either. Other highways are experiencing the exact same situation. That does sound rather unusual. The CGF has received reports about these appearances too. Luckily, we don't seem to pose any threat to the bus service. Guess that's one silver lining. Still, it's quite concerning to hear. We should keep our eyes peeled. Uh, putting that mystery aside, who's that girl with you guys? New member? I don't think so, Estelle. You're from the Crossbell Guardian Force, right? Yes, I am. Sergeant Major Noel Seeker of the Tangon Gate Division. And you two are braces? Yep, I'm Estelle Bright, currently registered with the Bracer Guild's Crossbell Branch. Nice to meet you, Sergeant Major Seeker. My name is Joshua Bright. Wait a minute, aren't you? I saw the two of you in, co in the Crossbell Times. You're those young heroes who single handedly put an end to that mass of incident in Libel. <laughs> you must have read Grace's article too, huh? Actually, we weren't the only ones who helped stop that, you know? It was a team effort. Wow, Estelle and Joshua really are famous. If Grace thought they were newsworthy. There's been confirmation that these new unknown monsters are vastly different than the wanted ones from before. Try to stay safe. Let's see, I say that after we take a short break, we check out the other highway. We should make sure there aren't any more roadblocks. Yeah, that's it. There are new monsters on all the highways, so... And they are level appropriate for where we are right now. <sighs> Did I really just lose in a race against a girl? Maybe living amongst nature has given me an edge against city kids. I played hide and seek lots of times with Camille and Stefan, you know? I'm super duper fast! I bet these kids would get along great with Kia. Oh man, I'm sure. Maybe we should get her to take a long one next time we visit. I've played hide and seek lots of times with Camille and Stefan, you know? It's the funnest. You're such a slowpoke, Stefan. How could you let yourself get caught by pulley of all people? Tell you what, if you move here, you can take a complete training session from yours truly. So peaceful here. It reminds me of just what it is I fight to protect. Well, Stefan's it now. Try to catch us before sunset, okay? It looks like Gramps is in a pretty cheery mood today. 
With the Hayworth as his favorite customer, he's practically perfect in Graham's eyes. Compared to him and just some bum that was unemployed for a long time, didn't even do anything noteworthy for the festival. On the bright side, we had so much business to the festival, I got a lot faster at calculating sales. I don't really feel like I moved up from being just Graham's little assistant at all, though. Alright. It's always a pleasure, Howelt. You know, I'll throw an extra jar of honey on the house. Make sure to share some with your family now. Thank you, I'm sure they absolutely love it. Compared to a genuine man like Harold, Jake's just a fumbling little hatchling. After everything we endured during the anniversary festival, I thought Jake might have matured a bit, but we still got a long way to go. Oh, have you all come to purchase some of America's fine honey as well? Sorry to disappoint, but there's no way I let you outbid me. As if we'd ever tried to out-negotiate you. You said you were taking a vacation after the anniversary festival, didn't you? Has it already come to a close? <laughs> yes, I was extremely stressed, so it was a welcome change of pace. In fact, I feel more refreshed than I have in a while, and I plan on using all that energy to work even harder from here on out. My wife has been doing her best to support me in my business endeavors recently. Now that I have my family coming together to push me forward, I need to work harder than ever for their sakes. Harder is not the same thing as long, I am. Ah, oh, Harvest was real plentiful this year. Be willing to bet this is all thanks to them hounds that was impersonating the divine wolves being caught. I read that son Stefan has been playing with my kids all the time recently. I just hope a lot of them don't get too rowdy and end up getting hurt. When I went to Stahl during the anniversary festival, a lot of tourists started coming to the village. Talk about a surprise. I have come up with new improved ways to do things around here. As the next village chief, it falls onto me to make sure our beloved village doesn't come to an untimely end. I tried speaking with Derek about the village's future yesterday. However, he continues to insist that the village must modernize no matter the cost. Bringing in so many tourists to try and achieve a silly dream has caused us a lot of problems. What am I going to do with Derek? For some reason he can't accept my determination to preserve this village and its culture. Ideas, what do I do? The villagers always end up being worried whenever my husband and son argue. If you don't mind, could you please watch over Derek whenever you are here? I wanted to test that. Um, tongue on gate. In the next area. So I park it here. And take the bus to America. <sighs> Crap, I'm kind of off. This place is too relaxed for its own good. I'm always scared I'm gonna end up scratching the truck on some thing if I get too tired. Okay, nothing too special as expected, but... After the anniversary festival ended, I took a one-day vacation to America Village. That was a month ago, but I'm still feeling better than I ever have. Man, my vacation must really have helped me let loose. Because I feel so great, I'm going to go 100% today too. Your efficiency while working is bound to drop if you're exhausted, it's undeniable. So that means getting the appropriate amount of rest each night is key. Good afternoon, Sergeant Major Sikkim. Keep up the good work. Any suspicious activity from the Republic? Nothing out of the ordinary, madam. Also, there haven't been any serious issues with any of the tourists passing through. Good to hear. The special support section and I are going to investigate the ruins that gave a scouting party trouble. 
I leave security in your capable hands. Make a crossbow guardian force prout. Yes, ma'am. Time rate is all clear, nothing abnormal to report. Having to wake up so early has left me quite drowsy. Can't afford to fall asleep at the wheel, so I'm resting here for a bit to perk me up. Nothing unusual to report. Uh, good afternoon, Sergeant Major Sicker. Sergeant Major Sicker, are these the ones? That's right. This is for special support section. They'll be assisting the CGF of the investigation of a temple. Understood. I want to apologize, though, if we went so useless when you... Please, don't worry about it. Jobs like this have become commonplace for us. <laughs> Ain't that the truth. You can leave this to us, man. Just keep guarding the gate, alright? Yeah, well, from all of us at Tangram Gate, please keep the Sergeant Major safe. Oh, Sergeant Major Seeker, heading out on another mission? That's right. You know, Mr. Temmers, while I'm here, would you mind tweaking me to a little energy booster? Please, and thank you in advance. Sorry, Sergeant Major. As much as I'd love to, I'm afraid I have to say no on this one. If you want some food, you gotta pay for it like everyone else. I'd love to give you a freebie, but I'm afraid I have a business to run. If you want that energy boost of yours, you have to pay like everyone else. It's quite delicious, isn't it, darling? I wasn't expecting this to taste this good. I thought it was going to be served some cheap two-bit meal, but my oh my. And I believe they exceeded all of my expectations. What I thought, as soon as those ghosts or whatever showed up in the ruins, the gate scouting team made a break for it. Those guys need to grow a spine if you ask me. You think a ghost so different from the other monsters out there? See if it likes bullet holes. Despite having hardly any injuries, Burrell has been holed up in bed. Oh well, with good rest, he'll be able to return to his post in no time. Oh, uh, goddess. Never ghosts. While investigating that temple, poor Burrell here went face first into some monsters. And considering he's pretty faint of heart, he immediately passed out. Let's make sure to go into the mission prepared, everyone. Whatever scared him this bad isn't going to be weak. Please stay with me. Stay away from me, ghosts. So, who is manning the gate now? I wonder how Burrell's doing. No, I can't worry about him. My post needs to be my top priority. So, just a nameless soldier. I've been having to cover guard duty for Burrell lately. If anyone who saw what shape he's in, I doubt anyone would ever volunteer for another scouting mission again. Ever since that scouting mission of the ruins near mines, Burrell's been holed up in bed. And I've been covering his shifts. Oh boy, I'm hungry. This stuffed animal. I get the strange feeling I've seen this shape before. <laughs> That's mine, actually. Truth's friend gave it to me back when I was going through training. She wanted my room to have a bit more color, apparently. Oh, now that you mention it, we saw a similar stuffed animal when we stopped by friend's house, right? But it was a different color, I think? <laughs> Matching set, huh? I can't but feel a little jealous of how well you get along with your sister. Really? Gosh, what's a little embarrassing to hear. Maybe I should have kept it hidden after all. I see you were able to enlist for special support section's assistance for the case seeker. Yes, ma'am. They were more than happy to lend a hand. Uh, of course we were. <laughs> you okay, Ellie? You look a little tense. How many times do I have to say that I'm fine? Perfectly fine. If you're going to investigate, let's just get on with it. Mademoiselle is real intimidating when she wants to be. 
Ellie has nerves of steel, I doubt we have anything to worry about. Especially when she gets like this. Always a lively bunch, aren't you? Regrettably, the investigation conducted by the CGF ultimately ended in failure. If failures such as this keep piling up, it's likely that our gracious commander will call off the investigation entirely. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. But of course, your safety and well-being are to be your top priority. Do I make myself absolutely clear? Yes, ma'am, we won't forget. Since you're here, do any of you happen to enjoy reading? If so, I wholeheartedly recommend this. I never expected pop fiction to be part of your reading repertoire. Be it novel or textbooks, reading any kind of work is beneficial to my mind. At the very least, pop fiction novels are far more worthwhile than the tawdry magazines you spend your time ogling at. Hey, don't go knocking swimsuit, Max. After all, they're my life's blood. Couldn't live without them. Really, Randy? Be careful, okay. But I think that's it, right? And maybe reading the newspaper. Feature Budget Committee and Mayoral Elections, Imperial Faction, Republic Faction, and the Mayor. Even after the Diet's initial session regarding budget allocations was postponed, the current session already threatens to become a drawn out affair. Today, in the Assembly, Speaker Hartman, leader of the Imperial Faction, debated intensely with his rivals. The Republican Faction. The hall quickly turned into a whirlwind of dirty jeers. Mayor McDowell struggled to keep order. In the end, only a meager three pieces of legislation were approved. About the upcoming mayoral election, Mayor McDowell's term will end in four months' time. That means the next mayoral election is coming up soon. Yesterday, McDowell, who previously declared he would retire after the current term, made the statement, I can't leave a government in its current state. Speaker Hartman is rumored to have plans to run for the office, after having already secured his next term as Speaker. If elected, a politician from his imperial faction would likely take his seat as Speaker. Representative Campbell of the Republican faction is wary of this and has been using his connections to try to establish a third candidate. Between the prolonged budget meeting and the looming in mayoral election, the heated battle for political office has just begun. How will it turn out? We asked an expert in business about the upcoming election, none other than Chairman Morse of the Business Owners Association. Response below. This election will focus on how trustworthy the candidates are. The citizens are fed up with the political chaos. They will want to lend their support to a candidate who can both reform the government and improve the state. Finance, economy is booming. Businesses in the city benefited royally from such a successful anniversary festival. With the IBC's interim report, the signs suggest that those affiliated with the IBC's ventures will see even more growth. Construction-related companies are acting cautious due to the budget committee's status, but it seems that investors are interested after seeing next year's economic forecast. Uh, powerful monsters appear? We have received reports that never-before-seen monsters have been spotted on highways around Crossbell. Citizens and tourists walk the roads have already suffered injuries and the bracelet is imploring people to exercise caution. Leisure, Crossbell's gourmet experience. Morks Bakery in West Street has captured the public's hearts and stomachs with its freshly baked bread and even offers a new special bread every month. With my mouth stuffed, I can only utter superb. Oscar, only 18 years old, is a genius behind these specialties. Why not check out this young prodigious Pesetier's creations yourself? Oh wait, but that shall be it? Until next time, when we go um, to the temple. Ah, then I miss and don't get lost.